Hello everyone, so this will be my first impression of the uh, Logitech Lift Left uh, Vertical Ergonomic Mouse. Okay, so the reason I bought this is because um, I'm left-handed and uh, I so far I haven't found any left-handed dedicated um, ergonomic mouse that's comfortable to use until this one arrived. Okay, so I literally found out about, found out about this mouse uh, last week I read in an article that uh, had a pretty interesting picture of actually this version of the mouse, the, the right-handed version that's in pink color. And I told my wife, I was like, uh, do you want to get this mouse because it looks pretty ergonomic and it's kind of a pretty color? And she says no. So regardless, I went to Logitech website and I took a look and I was surprised to find out they actually put out a left-hand dedicated version for the left hand. So I immediately bought it. Um, because it's, it's quite rare for companies to have dedicated left-hand mouse that's well-designed and uh, um, well-implemented. Now, I have been using this mouse for a couple days, um, both in the office, and I took it home, and I tried to game on this mouse for, you know, a couple games, um, and it actually turned out quite well. It turned out, you know, it, it's, it's pretty decent for everyday use, and even for gaming for that purpose. So... For my uh, home use, um, my go-to mouse for now is my Razer Viper Ultimate. This is a wireless mouse um, that's very well designed with a very good wireless sensor. So it's very responsive. And uh, with the dedicated software, uh, you're able to change the pulling rate um, on this mouse up to, I think, a thousand hertz. Uh, so a thousand times per second, something like that. And the battery life of this mouse has been decent. So I can probably usually use this mouse for about a week um, before it needs to be charged. And the charging for the Viper Ultimate is actually pretty easy. It's got a dock over here. Anytime it needs to charge, it shows a red color. And I just put it on there, charges for a few hours. You know, you can use it for another week or so. So pretty convenient. But the Logitech Lift Left um, uses a double, uh, like a single uh, AA battery. And it's very easy to change the battery. The back door is magnetic, so it's very easy to take off and take on. And uh, it's powered by one single AA battery. And according to Logitech, the battery life on this is actually quite amazing. It's two years of battery life for everyday use, okay? And uh, of course, it comes with a dongle. And uh, uh, when you're not in use, you can leave the dongle in here. And uh, for travel, which is pretty convenient, and you won't have to worry about losing the dongle. You have a power button here. Uh, you, you, you know, when you're traveling, of course, you want to turn this off when not in use and turn it on when it's in use. It uses a standard infrared sensor right here. Um, and on here, you can see there's one, two, and three. So this, uh, the lift left actually supports three different profiles. Two of those are actually for the dongle, uh, I believe. And uh, the second profile, the number two is actually for Bluetooth connection. So you're able to actually connect it to multiple devices um, according to Logitech, uh, but uh, do read the instruction on how to connect to multiple device. I only use this for my desktop with a dongle, so it's pretty easy for me to connect. I don't have to switch profiles, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, let's dive into the basic functions of the mouse. Um, you know, your standard fare, um, you have your uh, forward, backward button right here. Um, I'm not sure if it's customizable because when I connect this to the Logitech gaming software, it actually doesn't detect this mouse at all. So I don't think you can customize those buttons. Um, it's an office mouse, so buttons are pretty standard. Um, left and right, uh, you know, backwards and forwards button. Uh, this button is actually to switch the DPI, um, pull, the, the DPI sensor. So if you press this button, um, the mouse, either goes into a fast movement state or a slower movement state. That's what I find out. If you guys know what this button is for or it can be customized, feel free to let me know. Um, and for the scoring wheel, there is no left and right motion. There's only a center click right here. And of course, your, your up and down uh, scoring action. Now, the interesting thing for the click is, um, since this mouse is designed for office use, um, it's it features, it features a very quiet click. Can you guys hear the click? 
Yep, so that's one of the adver advertised feature of this mouse, which is that quiet click. It's visually silent. Now, if you look at the, the click sound of any other standard mouse, it's pretty loud. Okay, so you hear that and you hear this. You basically cannot cannot hear the sound. And for the for the forward and backward button, it's actually louder than the actual click. So that that's that's quite interesting, right? Um, and uh, so for for the Viper Ultimate, it's it's pretty loud overall. But then again, this is a gaming mouse, so I don't think the silence or the quietness is the design feature of that mouse. So back to this. Um, in terms of the comfort, um, I have been using this mouse for a couple of days now. Uh, I would say it's actually pretty comfort comfortable. Uh, my hand, if you can see this little bump over here, that's from using a everyday, you know, a traditional mouse that I have to actually put quite a lot of force over on this bone right here. But since I've switched to this mouse for office use, I have found out that I don't have to use that bone to sit my uh, hand anymore. The bone is actually pretty lifted um, off the ground. So it's actually not touching the ground like when I use a traditional mouse, which is pretty nice. Um, and the, this area actually features a rubberized grip right here. So the grip area is uh, over here is rubberized. However, I find that this area steer, I would actually prefer this area to be rubberized because I find my thumb actually, um, I use my thumb quite a lot to actually secure the mouse for, for movements. And a lot of times the thumb area is not, this, this area is actually, uh, my thumb actually gets slipped, um, it, it gets slippery and I have a pretty sweaty hand. As you can see, I have, you know, uh, I'm already started to sweat it. So with a sweaty hand and a plastic design in the front, it's actually very hard for me to, um, to have a, a secure grip on this mouse. So uh, with that said, um, it's still pretty comfortable, okay? Um, but I kind of wished that this area is rubberized or actually the whole mouse would be rubberized. It would be quite nice. Um, other than that, a very comfortable mouse to use for everyday purpose. And I can already feel that my, uh, my strain from this bone that I use quite a lot has been reduced since I started using this mouse uh, in my office. And again, based on my um, kind of curiosity gaming performance of this mouse, I would say, yes, you can actually use it for gaming purpose if you want to, but I actually wouldn't suggest using that, using this mouse solely, sol solely for gaming purpose. Um, if you guys have any questions about this mouse, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be, I will try my best to help answer your questions. And I hope you found this video helpful in helping you making a decision on whether you should give this mouse a try or not. And uh, um, again, the last thing I want to mention is the price. Um, I'm quite surprised that they actually priced this mouse at $69. And to be honest, I would actually expect this mouse to be sold for quite a lot more. Uh, because Logitech's, uh, they, um, they're, I think, top of the line uh, mouse, which was the MX mouse, which is a dedicated left hand, high performance office mouse or like everyday mouse that they targeted for high end use. Their mouse is being sold for close to $100. And this one, I would say it's priced at a mid range level. And uh, um, again, for left hand use, it's quite rare to find a very comfortable ergonomic mouse for left hand use for less than $100. And for that, I have to give a big praise to Logitech for actually put out a mass marketed left hand vertical mouse um, for everyday use. So that's pretty much it. Thanks guys again uh, for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.